Oh, so this is part two of preventative screening searches for tobacco use. This video is the second part called identifying all the patients that have not had tobacco use assessed in the last year. I'm assuming that you've watched the first video uh, because there's a lot of information that would be repeated called identifying all tobacco users. Anyway, so there's proceeding from that one using the lab value that we've entered into physical history, we have, I've created a query. This is the query builder and I want people over the age of 16 who have an active uh, status in the clinic. I am looking for that a lab value has been entered but it has been more than a year ago and I'm looking for something that doesn't match. That means that they do not have a lab value entered at all. So they haven't been asked or they no information has been entered into the lab value area. So when we run this report, it gives us a nice clean uh, report and of those people that have not been assessed for tobacco use. So now we'll go to the lifestyle one. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. We need to use some advanced logic up here. But let's start at the beginning. So again, age older than 16, active status in the clinic. Their lifestyle history contains tobacco, but the date when that was asked or recorded was more than a year ago, assuming that there is a date. And those people that do not have tobacco entered into their lifestyle history. So this does not match. Anyways, it's a little bit more confusing. We're making a few assumptions here. <laughs> anyway, so this is going to pull up a different list of people. But the problem is a lot of the times uh, the lifestyle history has not been updated. So uh, the date has not been updated. So it may not be as reliable because there's no date necessarily. Anyway, so that's how you do it.